and you just slide to unlock. Um, so go back to installer. You can't really tell if anything happened. And you're gonna want to go to sources, and you'll have a little bit more. Now I'm gonna click edit. Oh, wait, you're in the top right. Click edit. And the top left, click add. And then you. It's iPod Touch Master. Um, dot com slash files slash repo dot xml. So it's iPod Touch Master dot com slash files slash repo, which is R E P O dot xml. And I'll put it in the description. If you uh, didn't get that, it'll refresh your sources. Click done, then go to install. Okay, and then here it is. Okay, so it will. Uh, you can get the iPhone apps on all the versions, so click your version on the iPhone, whatever version you have. Applications. I'm running on 1.1.4, so I'm going to click on that. And you're going to click on iPhone 1.1.4 apps. You're going to click install and install. So, this will get the wiggle feature too, where when you hold down an icon, it will. Here, let me, I can plug this. It'll let you move it around. And then you're going to want to go to all packages. And scroll down to the bees and get something called boss tool right there. Go on to click install and install. Okay, so now you can click home and this will pretty much get your iPod back to uh, how you had it. Now you're gonna have all this stuff. So you can have the wiggle feature where you can hold down on something and it'll shake and you can move them around. But uh, I don't want it on the other page. Yeah, you can just drag it to another page to make another page. And you can exit, click the X on Zebra's blog, click delete if you don't want that there anymore. Or run anything else that you have but you can't click X on any delete it's only like on web apps so I'm gonna wanna put my music back in here and I'll take installer out and put videos so now your iPod should look similar almost exactly like this so you're gonna wanna click boss tool free disk space and click relocate fonts click do it I'll show up with a wheel and this just creates more free disk space so it allow you to get uh, more games and different apps so uh, I'll name some good apps that you're probably going to have a summer board which you can change your background and stuff like that a theme builder which you can change your icons and change your different themes um, customize where you can change the sliders or like the stuff that says like slide to unlock you can change that to like something else like welcome or something and you're gonna want to get a lot of games And you're going to want to have MixTube. It's MXTube. Um, it's a YouTube downloader. So you can watch any YouTube videos that you've downloaded before onto uh, your. So you can just watch them whenever you want. So now it's done. Click the home button. And you can go to settings. General. About. And I'm still running 1.1.4. 1 
and all this. I have 33 songs and 11 photos, zero videos, and installer and boss tool. And that has taken up 0.4 gigs, which is a few megabytes. So, uh, hope you guys liked the video, and hope you enjoy your jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone on any version.